All right, you're still watching Sunrise on Friday, and now I'm joined by one person who's very talented. He's multi-talented. He's an actor, he's a writer, and a filmmaker. But he recently broke into the U.S. TV networks on the documentary My Africa with the My Lusaka series, where he is talking about uh, Lusaka and just making it known to the U.S. Uh, people, the people in the United States of America. Now, my, I'm talking about Onechi. Onechi, welcome to Sunrise on Friday. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, it's exciting to be on movie TV, and, uh, you know, it's my first time, and... Uh, that was a very grand intro you just gave. You know, <laughs> when you you're grand, much. we give you a grand oh, entrance. you're so kind. Thank okay. you. Okay, so let's talk about this new series that you featured in, My Africa, and you did My Lusaka. Tell us more on how you got into being part of this big network. The American uh, uh, TV channel where this show is running is called The Africa Channel. And The Africa Channel uh, broadcasts to about the 33 million households in North America, the Caribbean, and parts of Europe. And um, so they have a series on that channel, on that network, and it's called My Africa. And the concept of My Africa is um, we, the audience gets to discover African cities at the behest of a local personality. So basically, the local personality will take the camera around and say, you know, give and gives the, an insider's take on modern life in Africa. So, you know, there have been episodes uh, done in uh, Kampala, uh, Addis Ababa, Nairobi, and uh, so they, the, the network now wanted to do something with, uh, on Lusaka. And so, they were uh, worked in conjunction with a, with a Zambian production company called the Zambian Institute for Sustainable Development. And uh, these a very able-bodied, fantastic uh, Zambian professionals uh, worked with the network. So they, they held a casting call, and I went for the auditions, and uh, they sent all the tapes back to the U.S., and I was cast for the role. We shot it, and uh, so now it's on air and online on the Africa Channel. And, uh, you know, you can... I think I think we have a clip package. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. We we can there's something for you guys to see as well. And uh but the full show is running on the American uh, channel called the Africa Channel. Okay. <laughs> so you are part of this network. In, let me just say you're, you're in Hollywood at the moment. So how does it make you feel to know that you are part of a group of people that are showing a different side of Africa? something that people are not used to seeing because when they think Africa they think bushes and everything horrible but you are here showing something nice about Africa how does that make you feel it was a conscious decision even as we um, because in the show we go to places like Chaminuka then we also go to Matabeto then we go to Sky Bar and the Four Seasons Bistro but we also go to Comesa Market it was very important uh, to me personally um, that we give a balanced positive view on life in Africa because it's a very unique time that we live in now with communication technology the way it is that we as Africans can set the agenda and we can show and we can project the right positive image about Africa you know and um, brand building Zambia you know that's our job that's your job that's my job yeah. so it was very exciting to be able uh, to do that but you know in the back of you know of the mind you always you know want to be conscious of the fact that of course, in every society you have good and bad, but I feel we need to always project the good because there is a lot of good and wonderful things happening here in Zambia and in Lusaka. How would, that, how would you describe this whole experience for you? you? Did you discover something new that you didn't know about Zambia being part of this production of My Africa, My Lusaka? No, well, I mean, uh, I kind of knew all the places we were going to, <laughs> but I, I, I grew as, a, you know, as an actor and um, in with my presentation skills, for example, there's a, a sequence in the show uh, where we do one long continuous take. Uh, we 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 park the car at Comesa Market and we walk in. We tour the whole market and then we end up at my barber because uh, I get I get this amazing Afro done Comesa my arson my barber. Shout out to you. <laughs> and so, you know, it was about 30 to 45 minutes nonstop, a single continuous take, no breaks, no cuts. So it was that, that level of, um, I mean, you know, my, my technical proficiency, I, I feel, has grown. And, uh, but it was exciting, I mean, obviously, to, you know, to just to go around and to be, be with our people. Okay. <laughs> so now that you are in um, 
in Hollywood, I love to see you that way. Yeah. In Hollywood, what, what what next should we expect from Onechi? Yeah, we know you as a film writer, you're a, a poet, you're an actor, yes. all those amazing things. <laughs> what next? Where should, should we expect to see you next? Well, um, I'm looking to production now uh, and uh, producing for television and producing films and really getting into the filmmaking aspect, which I'm, I'm really growing into now. All right, <laughs> well said. Now, finally, maybe there are people that are wondering, when, where, where can I see uh, my Lusaka on Niti's show? Where can they find it? Okay, so uh, um, there's a link on the Africa Channel website, uh, which I'll share with you. Uh, and people can pretty much jump on that link. But I also have a website. It's onechi.net. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter. And the handles I'm using are onechi777. That's O-N-E-C-H-I-777. And uh, they can pretty much uh, jump onto either the website or onto the, the socials. And then we can keep engaging. And uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody who's liked uh, or follows me on Twitter or likes my Facebook page. You guys are my family. I don't believe in having fans. Yeah. We're family. We're friends. <laughs> and we're doing this together. All right. Thank you so much, Onechi. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege. Thank you for what you're doing. And please, let's keep it up. And to all the young people out there, come on, guys, let's do this. I was born and raised here, so what's your excuse? See, what's your excuse? He was born and raised here. He's in Hollywood. You can do the same. <laughs> so yeah, well spoken. Thank you so much for being on the show, oh, uh, Onechi. You. And uh, if there's any other young person out there that has been inspired by Onechi's story, I hope you have because I know I have been inspired. So you can catch uh, Onechi on Facebook, Twitter, every other social network. He's there. So for me, Spiwe, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you back in studio. <laughs>